Norton Healthcare says it currently has 28 children hospitalized with RSV here at Norton Children's. And while it's not uncommon to see the virus this time of year, it's the amount of cases they're seeing that's cause for concern. Last week, within all of Norton Healthcare, we had a record number of kids test positive for RSV. Dr. Christina Bryant, a children's infectious disease doctor at Norton, says the system saw over 450 positive cases of RSV last week alone. We started to see cases begin to tick up in late August or early September, but we didn't really see a big spike in cases until this month, and cases are still going up. Dr. Mark Brockman, a pediatrician with Norton, says RSV is a common viral illness in children, with symptoms ranging from a cough, sore throat, or a runny nose, to having trouble breathing. In real severe cases, children may even be grunting or using um, a nasal flare in what we call or their noses. They're trying to get more air in. I always reiterate, especially this time of year with any of my parents, uh, never hesitate to call your pediatrician if you have any concerns whatsoever with your child. This year, the FDA approved a new vaccine, Bayfortis, for children under two. Both Dr. Bryant and Dr. Brockman say getting your child vaccinated, if they're eligible, is a good option for protection. This shot is in really short supply this year. And so we'll continue to offer this vaccine until uh, the, the supply we have runs out. Dr. Brockman says if your child is not able to get the vaccine, that's okay. He suggests making sure those around your child wash their hands and stay away if they're feeling sick. Watching for those signs and symptoms, uh, especially in older children, a runny nose and cough, keeping those children away from a more vulnerable population is very important. Addie Miners, WLKY News.